Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start the uh, program. If you could all take your seats. Okay, welcome to the Enfield Police Department 2015 Award Ceremony. Before we begin, I'd like to make some introductions of our command staff. Seated on the stage, the Director of Public Safety, Christopher Bromson. To his left, <laughs> Captain Jeffrey Golden. <laughs> Deputy Chief Gary Collins. <laughs> Captain Fred Hall. <laughs> Chief Carl Safraza. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Steve Kasalowskis. I'll be your MC for tonight and my ceremonial assistant. Tommy Purs will be our stagehand tonight, helping out with the awards. So before we begin, I'd like to ask you all to please stand for the posting of the colors by the Enfield Police Explorer Color Guard. Please remain standing as we have the singing of the national anthem by explorer Matthew Shaw. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail by the dawn's early light, the teeming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets reckless, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Again, remain standing. Chief Carl Safraza, I'd like to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join us. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to welcome to the stage the Reverend John Melnick for our invocation. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, as much as each and every one of us is unique, precious, and unrepeatable, we know that we are all created in your image. Tonight, as we celebrate humanity at its finest, we honor those who have gone above and beyond the call of duty. 
We ask you to bless our honorees this evening as they continue their work. And may we look to them as models and instruments of your justice in our community. And we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Now, Chief Surprise would like to make some opening remarks. Chief. But not like the Yukon game. You can sit down. You don't have to. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Senior Center to the 2015 Police Awards Ceremony. Um, I have some very brief remarks, but before I do that, I do want to recognize some people that we have with us here tonight. Um, I'd like to start to the left. We have our acting town manager, Mr. Lee Erdman, our mayor, uh, Mr. Scott Copen, counselors Ed Denny, Kathleen Sarno, Donna Suzak, and Craig Stokes. Please a round of applause for our elected officials. So what I'd like to talk about tonight very briefly is just the reason we're all here tonight. We started this program about nine years ago. And you know, we, we felt it was important just to take an hour or two a year to recognize some of the outstanding performances that some of the Enfield police officers um, were engaged in this year. You know, being a police officer is a difficult job, but I think officers would tell you that 2015 has been an especially challenging year. Um, against the backdrop of police protests around the nation, anti-police sentiment, and the relentless network replaying of videos, um, obviously, in my opinion, to boost their ratings and not to accurately portray what police officers are all about, it's been a very difficult year. The truth of the matter is that of the hundreds of thousands of law enforcement officers throughout the country, the vast majority are good people. They're like me and you, they're good people. They wanna help people and they do help people. Um, I think in any profession, you're gonna find the percent that don't live up to the standards. I think it's magnified these days on the, on the news and it's an unfortunate backdrop that we have to work, um, work against. This year, unfortunately, to date, 117 police officers were killed in the line of duty. That's about a 10% increase from last year at the same time. Um, when officers go above and beyond what's expected of them, I think it's so important that we recognize what they do and that we thank them for what they do and tell them that we appreciate them. But I think what makes it special is that tonight's ceremony, they're gonna hear the thanks and appreciation from the people who they protect all year long, members of the Enfield community. A lot of you know that our department is a nationally accredited police department. We're part of CALEA. We have been since 1996. I'm not going to give a whole speech on CALEA. Suffice to say that um, it's a national accreditation that we work very hard to maintain. There are approximately 16 or 18 police departments in the whole state of Connecticut that have this accreditation and only 4% nationwide. And uh, we work hard for that. And what accreditation means is that we make a commitment. And we make a commitment to be as excellent as we can be, to adopt the best practices in law enforcement. And tonight, it, it is probably without question the most important night for me as the police chief, because it's a privilege for me and an honor every year to recognize that excellence through the works and deeds that these officers did. I'd like to thank all of you that are here tonight. Your presence shows a, a vote of support for these particular officers and for law enforcement. And I also wanna thank you for the support that this community provides to the Enfield Police Department every year. In our mission statement, it says that uh, we enjoy a tremendous amount of respect and, and support from our citizens and we go on to say that we don't take that for granted. We have to earn it every single day. And again, we uh, would not be as successful as we are if we didn't have the support of our citizens, of our elected officials to provide us with the tools to keep our officers and our people safe. So thank you all so much for coming and I hope you enjoy the uh, presentation tonight. Thank you.
Before we begin the award ceremony, we are actually going to be retiring one of our police canines next month, and we thought tonight would be an appropriate time to honor her tonight on stage and say goodbye to her formally. So I'd like to uh, welcome to the stage Officer Brian Croto and his canine partner, Promise. Canine Officer Promise will be retiring from the Enfield Police Department in January of 2016 after nearly nine years of service with our department. Officer Croto acquired Promise in April of 2007 and attended the 128th Connecticut State Police Canine Training Academy, graduating in June of that year. Promise is a nine-year-old yellow lab and is state certified in narcotic detection. Promise participated in innumerable, innumerable community demonstrations and other events over her career where she proudly demonstrated her prowess and abilities to her adoring fans. Some of Promise's career highlights include averaging about 100 uses per year. Total uses over her career were about 800. Her fines averaged about 50 items per year. 14 fines in one shift at a Metro Traffic DUI checkpoint. Over 15 pounds of marijuana were found while assisting the Enfield Police Detective Bureau. She assisted in an ATF DEA search warrant at a home where law enforcement personnel had found nothing during their search. Promise entered the home and afterward found a large amount of crack cocaine hidden in a back bedroom. Promise was used to develop probable cause for numerous search warrants on many vehicles and storage units. On another search warrant, Promise located over $13,000 in cash and various types of narcotics that were later seized as asset forfeiture monies. She assisted in numerous area towns with school searches, search warrants and vehicle searches. And of all the notable achievements Promise has accomplished over her career, Officer Croto notes that the most important one was her ability to easily break down the barriers between the youth in our community and the Enfield Police Department. Canine Promise was a valuable asset to us here at the Enfield Police Department. She never demanded much overtime for her work. Her reward was simply hearing the praise from, her, from the voice of Officer Croto as he acknowledged her efforts and that, he be, or that she be hand-fed one of her favorite treats. Canine Promise, we thank you for your service and wish you a long and healthy retirement. Best wishes. <laughs> now, just because Promise is retiring doesn't mean Officer Croto gets to take a break. He's actually very hard at work. As he is transitioning Promise into retirement, he's also acclimating his new canine partner into his role as a new police canine. Let me take this opportunity to introduce you to the newest Enfield Police Department canine, K-9 Putnam. <laughs> Ironically, some of the monies that were acquired through assets, asset forfeiture that Promise had found were used to acquire K-9 Putnam. K-9 Putnam is a two-year-old yellow lab acquired from the Guiding Eyes for the Blind, a guide dog school out of New York. We hope to have him in the academy sometime in January and on the road sometime in the spring of 2016. We wish him well in his new position here at the Enfield Police Department, as well as Brian, and welcome aboard, Putnam. Our first category of award is the Police Citizen Award. To be honored for this award, you need to be an individual citizen or organization whose cooperation or assistance has assisted the Enfield Police Department in the apprehension of criminals, the saving of a life, or any other valuable service to the department or the community. Assisting Chief Safraza in these awards for this category will be the Director of Public Safety, Christopher Bromson. First up is Kathleen Hootenin. Please step to the stage. On May 12, 2014, Kathleen Hootenin was jogging near the area of North Maple Street and Shaker Road when a serious motor vehicle accident occurred at that intersection. Kathleen quickly ran to the scene of the crash and directed the calling of 911 as she immediately tended to one of the operators who was now entrapped inside a vehicle and was suffering from serious injuries sustained in the crash. 
Kathleen put the needs of the injured operator above her own as she provided aid and comfort to her, reassuring her that help was on the way. Despite a stressful and chaotic scene, Kathleen remained on the scene even after emergency services arrived to provide an extra set of hands and to assist in any way that was needed. Kathleen remained with the injured victim until she was extricated from the vehicle and was transported to the hospital by EMS personnel. Kathleen Hootenin, this was a highly stressful situation and you acted quickly and without hesitation to assist at the scene of a serious motor vehicle accident. The Enfield Police Department acknowledges your compassion and commitment to the community and recognizes you as an outstanding citizen. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Police Citizen Award on this, the ninth day of December, 2015. Congratulations. Joseph Fernari. <laughs> On May 25, 2014, Joseph Fernari was working at his business, Fernari Jewelers, located inside the Enfield Square Mall, when a heavyset male wearing a face mask entered the store. The masked suspect demanded all of the gold chains and diamonds that were inside the store and lifted his shirt to show a gun tucked inside his waistband. The suspect threatened another store employee that he would kill her if she tried to get away. Joseph, feeling that his life and both his and employee's life were in danger, waited for the suspect to turn his attention away for a moment, and then without hesitation, Joseph struck the suspect in the face. Both Joseph and the suspect fell to the ground as the suspect reached for his gun, and the two began to wrestle over control of the weapon. Joseph repeatedly struck the suspect with his fists until he was able to wrestle the gun away from him, throwing it towards the back of the store, and then held on to the suspect until police arrived on scene. The suspect was quickly taken into custody and Joseph was treated for his injuries sustained during this robbery. Joseph Fenari, this was a highly stressful situation and you acted quickly and without hesitation. Your actions during this incident prevented possible injury to your employees, prevented several thousand dollars in jewelry from being stolen, and resulted in the capture of an armed and dangerous felon. The Enfield Police Department recognizes you as an outstanding citizen, and you are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Police Citizen Award on this, the ninth day of December, 2015. Congratulations. <laughs> Michael Boyd. <laughs> On July 30th, 2014, Sergeant Nolan had detained two car burglary suspects inside the big white parking lot on Palumba Drive. While awaiting backup, one of the suspects fled on foot across the parking lot and toward the storefront area that Sergeant, and Sergeant Nolan pursued after him on foot, leaving the other suspect with security personnel. Michael Boyd observed Sergeant Nolan pursuing the suspect in his direction and positioned himself without hesitation or regard for his own personal safety to intercept the suspect's path. And as the suspect reached his position, Michael caught him and pinned him up against a pillar in the parking lot where Sergeant Nolan assisted him in taking the suspect to the ground and placing the suspect under arrest. Michael Boyd, your actions not only helped prevent possible injury to both the officer and the suspect, but it also resulted in the successful apprehension of a fleeing felon responsible for multiple car burglaries throughout the area. The Enfield Police Department acknowledges your courage and commitment to the community and is proud to recognize you as an outstanding citizen. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Police Citizen Award on this, the 9th day of December, 2015. Congratulations. <laughs>
Stephen Purs and Thomas Meskel. On December 4th, 2014, at approximately 12 p.m., Stephen Purs and Thomas Mesco were at the Parsons Road boat launch and observed a distraught individual who had plunged herself into the frigid waters of the Connecticut River. Stephen and Thomas immediately called 911 to activate emergency services and then followed the woman by running along the shoreline as the fast-moving current pulled her downstream. The weather conditions that day were extremely treacherous for anyone exposed to the water as the air temperature was in the mid-30s and combined with a very strong wind drove the river current much faster than normal. Stephen and Thomas, Thomas both successfully navigated the shoreline, risking their own safety as they ran along a very uneven and slippery terrain next to the river as they followed this individual downstream. Knowing this person would not survive long in the fast moving current, they grabbed a fallen tree branch and extended it out to her, convincing her to grab a hold of it. Stephen and Thomas pulled this individual to shore out of the frigid water where they stayed with her until EMS personnel arrived. The individual was then transported to the hospital for a medical evaluation. Witnesses advised responding officers upon their arrival on scene that a woman had intentionally jumped into the river and that two young men were running along the riverbank trying to save her. Stephen Purs and Thomas Meskel, this was a highly stressful situation and the both of you acted quickly and without hesitation. Both of you put yourself in harm's way to save this woman's life and in doing so, demonstrated a tremendous level of intellect and skill in successfully rescuing this person out of the swift and frigid waters of the Connecticut River. Any delay in action that day would have made it extremely difficult, if not impossible, to find the individual with such a fast-moving current. You both, without a doubt, saved this person's life and are to be commended for your actions. The Enfield Police Department acknowledges your effort and wishes to recognize you tonight as outstanding citizens. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Police Citizen Award on this, the 9th day of December, 2015. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next uh, category of awards will be the Letter of Commendation, and assisting the Chief in this category will be the Captain of Field Services, Captain Jeff Golden. Officers getting this award um, per our general order are when actions of a member of the Enfield Police Department are significant enough in nature to deserve recognition, but yet do not meet the level of qualification for a medal, then the Letter of Commendation will be awarded. Officer Stephen Pryor. On January 22, 2014, Officer Pryor was on patrol at around midnight and observed a suspicious person wearing a ski mask and a heavy winter clothing walking away from a business in the High Street Plaza. This particular business had been a victim to rash of burglaries over the past two months, and EPD officers were on alert for any suspicious activity involving this property. Officer Pryor advised this batch of his findings and exited his cruiser to speak with this individual and to also investigate his activities surrounding this property. This batch advised Officer Pryor that they were at the time taking a report from a citizen who was reporting a burglary in progress to the same business in the High Street Plaza that he observed the suspicious person walking away from. Officer Pryor interviewed the suspect about his activities in the plaza, to which the suspect denied any wrongdoing and that he was simply walking home. Officer Pryor responded to the business to check for any tampering or forced entry attempts and found fresh pry marks on the door and wood chips matching the door atop the snow on the ground. Officer Pryor found fresh footprints in the snow that led away from the front door of the business to the back of the business where he also found additional pry marks um, trying to gain entry into the building. Officer Pryor matched the footprints in the snow to the shoes the suspect was wearing. The suspect at this point advised officers that he wanted to speak with them about this incident. The suspect gave a full confession to having tried to burglarize the business in order to steal money to support his drug habit. The suspect was subsequently arrested and burglary tools were found incident to arrest on him. Officer Pryor, through the intelligent performance of your duty, your astute observations and diligence, 
A felony burglary suspect was taken into custody and several other burglaries were prevented. You are to be commended for your actions as they reflect highly upon you as a police officer. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department letter of commendation on this, the 9th day of December, 2015. Congratulations. Officer Edward Kazmarek. Over the course of several months during the winter of 2014, several snowblower larcenies had been reported to the police in both the towns of Enfield and Suffield. Several reports included a possible suspect vehicle that was seen in the area of these thefts that was described as a black Mercury Mountaineer SUV with a Marine Corp emblem on the front grille. The only suspect information given in these reports that was that he was a white male. On February 2nd, 2014, while on patrol, Officer Kazmarek observed a black SUV parked on Oak Avenue in the town of Enfield that matched the description of the suspect vehicle, including the Marine Corp emblem on the front grille. Officer Kazmarek observed that the rear seats of the SUV were folded down and a large piece of plywood was covering the entire rear cargo area of the SUV, as if to make it easy to slide items in and out of the vehicle. Officer Kazmarek called for backup and awaited to make contact with the registered owner of the vehicle. Officer Kazmarek attempted contact with the registered owner, but he wasn't home at the time. He then spoke with the wife of the registered owner and began questioning her about the use of the SUV, determining that her son was the primary operator of the vehicle. Officer Kazmarek made contact with the son, a 34-year-old white male, and began questioning him about snowblower thefts. The suspect at first explained that he fixes snowblowers for various people, and when pressed by Officer Kazmarek for contact information to confirm these repairs, the suspect appeared deceitful and could not provide that information. Officer Kazmir continued to interview the suspect and ultimately obtained a full confession from him. The suspect admitted to stealing snowblowers from towns in the both Enfield and Suffield area and further explained that he had a significant heroin addiction problem and needed to steal these snowblowers where he would later trade them for drugs. Officer Kazmir later obtained a full written confession from the suspect regarding all the thefts that occurred and in specific locations around town in which they occurred throughout the Enfield and Suffield area. Officer Kazmir, through the intelligent performance of your duty, a larceny suspect was captured, several ongoing larceny cases were solved, and potential future thefts were averted. Your actions have demonstrated a devotion and faithfulness to duty and the highest traditions of the Enfield Police Department, and they reflect highly upon you as a police officer. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Letter of Commendation on this, the 9th day of December, 2015. Congratulations. Officer Jamie Yacht. On May 22, 2014, you were on patrol and were dispatched to the area of Magnolia Drive for a report of a possible suicidal male inside a residence along with his deceased wife. Upon arrival, numerous, numerous officers and detective bureau units established a secure perimeter around the home when you began to gather information regarding the suspect inside the residence. It was learned that the suspect had gone to a neighbor's house that evening and reported that his wife had passed away a couple days ago from an accident and that she was still inside the residence. The neighbor also reported that the suspect had several cuts on his arm and that he was believed to be a suicidal male. Being a trained crisis negotiator, you attempted to establish contact with the suspect on, on the phone several times. After, after several tense minutes, contact was made with the suspect over the phone where you engaged him in a conversation that lasted approximately 13 minutes. The suspect at first said he was not ready to leave his residence and refused to come outside, but as time wore on, you built a rapport with him and began to gather information about what had occurred over the previous few days. The suspect acknowledged that his wife was in fact deceased and inside the residence with him. The suspect agreed to cooperate and eventually you were able to convince him to exit the residence and meet with you and other on-scene detectives. 
Officer Yat, this was a highly stressful situation and through the intelligent performance of your duties, both the homicidal and suicidal suspect was taken into custody without causing further harm to himself or others who were on scene. You are being commended for your actions as they reflect highly upon you as a police officer. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Letter of Commendation on this, the ninth day of December, 2015. Congratulations. Our next category is the Meritorious Service Award, and assisting Chief Safraza will be the Administrative Captain, Fred Hall. The Department Citation for Meritorious Service may be awarded to any member of our department who successfully performs an extremely complex and difficult investigation, or who demonstrates ex exceptional skill and ingenuity in the apprehension of wanted persons, or who provides outstanding public service, or who continuously achieves excellence in the performance of duties over an extended period of time. This award will be uh, given to Detective Sergeant Daniel Casal, Detective Gary Castle, Detective Martin Merritt, Detective Timothy Lewis, and Detective Michael Bailey. On May 22, 2015, at approximately 8.24 p.m., members of the Enfield Police Department and Detective Bureau were dispatched to the residence at 4 Magnolia Drive to initiate a possible murder investigation. Sergeant Casale, the on-duty Detective Bureau Supervisor at the time, organized the agency response to this incident and directed personnel from both the Patrol Division and Detective Bureau to perform a variety of tasks that were critical to this type of situation. The suspect to this investigation was contacted and convinced to exit the house, where Detective Bailey began to interview him. As members of the Patrol Division and Detective Division, Division entered the house to check on the status of the injured or deceased victims, they found the deceased female in the back bedroom area of the home. This investigation found that the suspect intended to wrap the female body up in a plastic waterbed mattress, secure it with duct tape, and dispose of it outside the house. The Enfield Police Detective Bureau worked closely with the Connecticut State Police Major Crime Squad to secure search warrants and conduct interviews with numerous neighbors, family members, and the suspect in this murder investigation. These efforts resulted in the speedy arrest of the suspect for manslaughter charges that were later upgraded to the charge of murder. The results of this investigation led to the successful prosecution of the suspect he was later sentenced to 20 years plus of incarceration. Sergeant Casale, without your extraordinary effort into this investigation, a major crime may have gone unsolved. You are to be commended for your actions as they reflect highly upon you as an investigator. You, are, you have demonstrated a devotion and faithfulness to duty that are in keeping with the highest traditions of the Enfield Police Department. And you are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department or Medal for Meritorious Service on this, the 9th day of December, 2015. Congratulations. Our next category is the Outstanding Unit Citation. This citation unit uh, award may be given to any division within the department whose members demonstrate continued excellence or a high degree of teamwork and professionalism in the performance of their duties or exhibited exceptional professional skill and conduct during a coordinated action. We'll be presenting this award to the Enfield Police Detective Bureau. On the stage is Lieutenant Willie Pedamonti, Sergeant Danny Casal. Detective Jim Held and Detective David Thomas. <laughs> On September 3, 2014, the Enfield Police Detective Bureau was assigned to investigate the shooting of an 18-year-old male who was shot in the chest as he sat in the front steps of his residence on Prospect Street. Witnesses reported that the suspect had fled down Prospect Street on foot, got into a vehicle, and quickly left the area. EPD officers ob obtained a description of the suspects and the vehicle they had fled in and had EPD dispatchers broadcast this information over the hotline to all surrounding law enforcement agencies. Soon after this information was broadcast, EPD detectives were advised that the Connecticut State Police had a vehicle matching the description of the suspect vehicle stopped in Windsor and that all of the occupants were being detained as well. EPD detectives responded to the town of Windsor where the vehicle was stopped to continue their investigation. EPD detectives, with the assistance from the Connecticut State Police Major Crime Division, carefully and methodically processed both crime scenes, both in Windsor and in Enfield, for evidence connected to this major investigation. 
The victim of the shooting later succumbed to his injuries and turned this investigation into a homicide investigation. EPD detectives worked countless hours to follow up on leads and information received regarding the shooting, which subsequently resulted in the four suspects being charged and later convicted on all of those charges. The suspects received sentences of 20, 25, 27, and 32 years in jail, dependent on their involvement in committing this homicide. To the members of the Enfield Police Detective Bureau, your collaborative efforts with the Connecticut State Police in this investigation was highly successful, and due to those efforts, multiple felony suspects were tried and convicted for their crimes. Your efforts reflect highly upon you as police officers, and you are to be commended for your actions. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Unit Citation Award on this, the ninth day of December, 2015. Congratulations. Our next category of award will be the Departmental Citation, and Assisting Chief Safraza will be Deputy Chief Gary Collins. This award shall be awarded to a department member who saves someone's life, makes a valiant attempt to save someone's life. A departmental citation shall be awarded to any department member who, through the diligence and initiative, apprehends or causes to be apprehended a serious felon. And I would like to introduce to the stage Lieutenant Medina from the Connecticut State Police, who will be assisting us in honoring Connecticut State Police Trooper Christopher Meyer. <laughs> on September 3, 2014, at approximately 9 p.m., Trooper Meyer was on duty and on patrol along the Route 91 corridor north of Hartford. Trooper Meyer heard a radio broadcast from Troop H concerning a shooting that occurred in the town of Enfield and was given a description of the suspect vehicle, a gray Toyota Camry with a loud exhaust occupied by several male suspects and was given a partial clothing description of what they were last seen wearing. Trooper Meyer positioned his cruiser along Route 91 southbound near the exit 35 off ramp in order to observe southbound traffic with his window rolled down. He was also listening for a similar type vehicle with a loud exhaust. At approximately 9.15 p.m., Trooper Meyer heard a vehicle traveling southbound on Route 91 with a loud exhaust and observed that vehicle to be a gray Toyota Camry. Trooper Meyer followed the vehicle on Route 91 and upon running the vehicle's plate, found that the vehicle was listed in the DMV computer as a stolen motor vehicle. Trooper Meyer notified Troop H dispatchers that he was behind the possible suspect vehicle in the shooting and that they were exiting the exit 34 off ramp. Trooper Meyer requested troopers responding to him to box in the vehicle upon their arrival so that it could not flee the scene. Trooper Meyer followed the suspect vehicle into a Sitco gas station where it stopped next to a gas pump. Trooper Meyer observed one of the male suspects exit the vehicle and, and, and begin walking towards the Sitco gas station entrance. Trooper Meyer then exited his cruiser, drew his duty sidearm, and while holding the suspect at gunpoint, ordered him to the ground. It took several orders for the suspect to comply with Trooper Meyer's instructions, and as the suspect complied with his orders, he was quickly handcuffed and secured by Trooper Meyer. Backup troopers arrived to assist Trooper Meyer and took the suspects out of their vehicles, and they were detained for questioning. Trooper Meyer requested the Enfield Police investigators be notified of his findings and to respond to the scene to continue their investigation into this shooting. The handgun used in the shooting and a knife with a six-inch blade, blade was later recovered from inside that vehicle. All occupants of the vehicle were arrested and transported to the Enfield Police Department for processing. This investigation subsequently resulted in the four suspects being charged for felony murder, robbery first degree, larceny second degree, and numerous other charges related to this incident. Trooper Meyer, due to your extraordinary diligence and initiative put forth in this case, multiple felony murder suspects were quickly captured, crucial evidence was obtained, and a, hob and a homicide was solved. You are to be commended for your actions as they reflect highly upon you as a Connecticut State Police Trooper. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Citation Medal on this, the ninth day of December, 2015.
Officer Michael Calantuano and Officer Stephen Pryor. In the early morning hours of July 27, 2014, Officer Pryor was on patrol and heard an audible alarm coming from a residence on Spring Street. Officer Pryor notified dispatch and exited his cruiser to investigate the audible alarm. Officer Pryor quickly determined that this alarm was a smoke detector activation coming from inside one of the residences and observed a significant amount of smoke coming from inside one of the buildings located on that street. Officer Pryor notified dispatch of his findings and requested fire and EMS assistance. Officer Colantuano arrived on scene and both these officers made entry into the building to search for occupants who may have been sleeping or trapped inside. Officer Colantuano and Pryor methodically searched both the first and second floor of this smoke-filled residence, waking several people who were found sleeping inside. While on the second floor, Officer Colantuano and Pryor found two young children, ages one and a half and three, woke them from their sleeping beds and carried them downstairs and outside to safety. Once outside, they were advised that a six-week-old newborn child may still be upstairs on the second floor and in a crib. Officer Colantuano and Pryor made their way back upstairs, where Officer Colantuano found the six-week-year-old or the six-week-old baby in respiratory distress and coughing in a crib. Officer Colantuano carried the infant downstairs while Officer Pryor cleared the rest of the residence, checking for anyone left inside. Officer Pryor found that the source of this smoke was the, inside the residence was an unattended food left on the stove cooking. Thompsonville fire personnel arrived on scene and vented the residence, finding that a high level of carbon monoxide was present inside the home. EMS evaluated all residents on scene and no serious injuries were reported. Officer Colin Twano and Officer Pryor, through the intelligent performance of your duty, you both searched a multi-level dwelling and in heavy smoke with limited visibility, worked as a team to assure no lives were lost that morning. You placed yourself in harm's way to assure the safety of others and your actions reflect highly upon you as police officers. You have demonstrated a devotion and faithfulness to duty in the highest traditions of the Enfield Police Department, and you both are to be commended for your actions. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Citation Medal on this, the ninth day of December, 2015. Congratulations. <laughs> Officer Peter Nasirios. On March 5th, 2015, Officer Nasirios was on patrol in the Thompsonville section of town when EPD dispatchers gave out a report of an armed robbery occurring at the K&R liquor store located in the eastern section of Enfield. Dispatchers advised responding officers that the two suspects involved had displayed a handgun during the robbery. The suspects obtained an undetermined amount of cash and cigarettes and fled westbound on Route 190 in a vehicle with mass plates. Officer Nasirius was several miles away from this event, but hearing that the suspects were headed in his direction and possibly toward the highway, Officer Nasirius ran the registration information on his mobile data terminal in his cruiser to obtain vehicle information. Officer Nasirius quickly responded in the area of Route 91 northbound on-ramp from Route 190 to possibly intercept this vehicle as it fled north back to Massachusetts. As Officer Nasirius positioned his cruiser on the route 91 on-ramp to northbound 91, his instinct proved correct, and he observed the suspect vehicle pass by him to enter I-91 northbound. Officer Nasirius advised dispatch that he was behind the suspect vehicle heading north on 91 and awaited backup to attempt a motor vehicle stop on this vehicle. A felony stop was conducted, and both suspects were quickly taken into custody. A handgun was later recovered from inside the vehicle. Officer Nasirios, through the intelligent performance of your duty, two felony robbery suspects were captured, all stolen merchandise was recovered, and a handgun was taken off the street. You are to be commended for your actions as they reflect highly upon you as a police officer. You had demonstrated a devotion and faithfulness to duty in the highest traditions of the Enfield Police Department and are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Citation Medal on this, the ninth day of December, 2015. Congratulations. <laughs>
Our next category is the Distinguished Service Award. Assisting the Chief will be Public Safety Director Christopher Bromson. The Distinguished Service Medal shall be awarded to any department member who renders service beyond the normal course of duty with alertness, perseverance, or timely judgment in the performance of a difficult task which results in the protection of life, the recovery of stolen property, the prevention or solving of a major crime, or the apprehension of an armed or otherwise dangerous person without regard to personal safety. Officer Joshua Marquis, Officer Jacob Ryan, and Officer Michael Roscoe. On August 8, 2015, at approximately 8.36 p.m., officers Marquis, Ryan, and Roscoe were on patrol and were dispatched to the Enfield Inn Motel for a report of a robbery in progress. While en route to the call, dispatch advised these officers that the suspect's description and alerted them that the suspect was also brandishing a handgun. Upon arrival, officers observed the suspect still inside the lobby and quickly established a perimeter around the motel. It appeared to officers on scene that the suspect did not notice their arrival. An entry team was formed, consisting of officers Marquis, Ryan and Roscoe, and trying to utilize the element of surprise, these officers breached the motel lobby door, made a rapid entry into the motel lobby, and quickly took the suspect down to the ground and into custody. A handgun was recovered from the suspect's waistband upon his arrest. Officers Marquis, Ryan, and Roscoe, this was a highly dangerous situation, and through the intelligent performance of your duty, you acted quickly and without hesitation to apprehend an armed and dangerous felon. Your actions reflect highly upon you as police officers, and you have demonstrated a devotion and faithfulness to duty in the highest traditions of the Enfield Police Department. You are hereby presented with the Enfield Police Department Medal for Distinguished Service on this, the ninth day of December, 2015. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll conclude our award ceremony for the 2015 year. If you could just please stand and give these recipients one more round of applause. Thank you very much. And Chief Safraza would like to say some closing remarks. Chief. So before we conclude tonight, um, I do have a few remarks, but before I conclude, um, Mayor Copen, would you like to come up and say a few words? Well, um, Chief Sraza and, and to all the men and women of the Enfield Police Department, uh, on behalf of uh, the, the town of Enfield, the town council, um, we congratulate you on the awards that you received tonight. Um, what this shows to us as, as um, members of the council is that uh, the agencies work together well um, with our, our friends from the, the Connecticut State Police. Um, in past award ceremonies, you've seen people recognized um, throughout the region. And um, our community really appreciates the work uh, that you do day in and day out. It's recognized, um, it's respected, and um, Enfield is a very safe community for us to call home, to have uh, businesses uh, locate here, and, and for us to raise our families as well. 
it's always appropriate to take a, a couple moments uh, in the course of time uh, to recognize the extraordinary work, uh, not only that your fellow officers uh, do throughout the year, but I also want to thank uh, the citizens, the residents that have stepped up because it is a partnership um, that makes our, our police department effective is because um, we have residents that step up as well and, and help solve uh, crimes and help, help uh, resolve issues that we have day in and day out. So on behalf of the council and all the residents in town, thank you for your service to our community and to the award recipients tonight. Um, congratulations and, and good job. Thank you. So just let me um, thank a few people before, um, by the way, there are refreshments in the back. They told me to remind everybody. So uh, first of all, uh, this program tonight um, wouldn't go off as well as it did if we didn't have some of our officers that step up every year to help us with this. So uh, Lieutenant Steve Kozolowskis, in addition to his regular duties, takes every one of these awards, puts them in a manageable format, puts it all together, organizes it, and my thanks to him are, are endless. I also want to thank Officer Tom Pierce. Um, Tom, he works hand in hand with Steve on this project as well as he's the accreditation officer for the department. And I don't think I'd embarrass Tom if I would share with you the fact that uh, with recent events, Tommy Purse is the longest tenured employee with the town of Enfield, starting his career with the town of Enfield when Richard Nixon was president in 1972. I also want to thank uh, Mike Krenwick for his help, and I don't know if Terry's here. She's hiding behind the thing. My secretary uh, couldn't do without Terry. She puts it all together. So I thank all those people. You know, um, I tried to script something to say at the end of the night, and I, I never find the words that I'm looking for, so I just kind of wing it, and I seem to do okay. So what I want to tell you tonight is this. I don't know what's happening in the world these days with these shootings and, and these protests and, and all that type of thing, but I can tell you one thing. I think as a society, we have a misplaced understanding of who, we, who our role models are, who our heroes are and who our superstars are. It's not David Price that's going to make $30 million with the Red Sox. It's not those people. The heroes, you just saw them tonight. And it's not just the officers that got the award tonight. It's the officers in the back of the room. It's the officers at the PD. It's the officers that every day go to work to try to keep you safe, regardless of the obstacles they have to face, whether they be um, movements around the nation but I can tell you that with the support that the police department has from our council from our administration with Mr. Bromson and all the command staff here it is humbling truly humbling for me to be just a part a small part of a team of people like this I'm so proud of each and every one of them I'm proud of all of you for coming and supporting us and don't stop supporting us thank you very much